Fox News alert now. The White House firing back at Democrats, calling for Attorney General Sessions to resign, accusing him of meeting with the Russians to discuss the president's campaign. A White House official issued this statement to Fox in the last hour. This is the latest attack against the Trump administration by partisan Democrats. General Sessions met with the ambassador in an official capacity as the senior, as the member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, which is entirely consistent with his testimony. It's no surprise Senator Al Franken is pushing this story immediately following President Trump's successful address to the nation. All right, here to react, uh, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. So we have a lot of different layers to this story, but yes. on the surface, two meetings. One was after a Heritage Foundation uh, speech uh, at the RNC and in around right. that area. The second one was evidently, uh, reportedly, in his uh, Senate chamber. person he met with is the Russian ambassador to the United States, the same human being with whom General Michael Flynn had several phone conversations in the same time period now. Uh, from Trump Tower before the president was uh, inaugurated. What's the problem with that? A federal act, a very old 1799 era federal act, but still the law says that it is unlawful, it is a felony mm -hmm. for a private person to meet with foreign government officials for the purpose of conducting their own foreign policy or interfering with the nation's the Logan foreign Act? policy. Correct. The Logan Act. So if Jeff Sessions ran into the ambassador at a cocktail party at the Heritage Foundation and they had chit chat, obviously there's no problem with that. If Jeff Sessions met with the ambassador to discuss foreign policy, but in Senator Sessions' then capacity as a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, there's no problem with that. The problem appears to be that he didn't reveal this to the Senate Judiciary Committee when they asked questions about this when they were uh, considering his nomination for Attorney General. I think they were asking questions about campaign, but he was still a U.S. Senator at that point, and I think that is his statement where, you know, I was just conducting myself as a member of the Senate. Yeah, and the, other, the other problem Committee. is, look, this is becoming a, a pain in the neck for the president. Sure. Was there a connection between the Russian government and the Trump-Pence campaign? And if so, what was the nature of that connection and who was involved in it and who knew about it? So what happens now? I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you what, what, what array is out there, what, what menu of things is out there. The House could investigate, they can't indict, but they can investigate. The Senate can investigate, they can't indict, but they can investigate. There'll be calls for a special prosecutor, mm -hmm. that is, a person outside the Justice Department, but with his or her own budget, own FBI like agents, own grand jury, exactly, and own ability to indict. Guess who under the statute decides if we need a special prosecutor and appoints that person? Right. Jeff Sessions, the right. Attorney General. The only thing I said is you remember when that report came out that there were multiple Trump officials who met with Russia and they named three, excuse me, and it turned out they met consistently about the campaign. It turns out it was not true. Remember, Ryan yes. Priebus got in trouble because he wanted the FBI to tell everyone what he knew? Yes. This could be something like that. I'm not sure. We are st the Donald Trump's presidency is still suffering from the presence of members of the Intelligence Committee who are trying to undermine him. I wrote my column about it today. It's before the right. session stuff came out, and it addresses different, uh, different leaks. But the leaks are substantial, fundamental, and profound, defenses, and now materially interfering with the presidency. Right. His defenses, I was a senator at the time. It was my job to meet with these ambassadors. I was not part of the campaign. Yes, prediction, right. he does not resign. He right. will appoint a special All right. prosecutor. The Judge, thank, thank you. you.